everybody. Hope you're all doing fantastically well. It's Connor here, back with your second instalment of the day. And it's a bit of a preview, everyone, which is exciting stuff. Leeds United face Harrogate Town, obviously, on Friday night. But it looks like tomorrow evening we have our first instalment of friendlies. Now, there was rumoured behind closed doors uh, a match between Leeds and Chelsea the other day. Apparently, Leeds lost that 5-1. That was then said to be rubbished by a few other tweets who said that didn't actually happen. But the interesting thing is Rangers boss uh, Philippe Clement has come out and said that they will be playing uh, Rangers will be playing Leeds United tomorrow in preparation for their next game against Manchester United on Saturday. So, it looks like Leeds are probably going to be fielding a mixture, but I, I think there's going to be some first-team names in there. You wonder what's going to be happening, potentially, with a few of the names that are already at Thorpe Parch, uh, Jorginho Rutter, Kwasi Somerville, William Yonto, Gruev and co. It looks like Leeds are probably going to have a decent side out there. Not many internationals were part of that entire phase. We know that there's been a few players that are, that you know were, uh, were have just come back from the Euros, but but not really many. You know, you know Verba being in that bracket, so it's going to be interesting to see really what what players are there. Obviously, we know that some Leeds United players, are, uh, when it comes to the youth development, have signed long term contracts. I, I would expect the likes of potentially Luca Thomas, Marley Wilson, Charlie Crew to be part of proceedings, especially after Charlie acquiring that four-year contract the other day but I'm excited for this one uh, hopefully we get a little bit of coverage we'll have to wait and see I'm not really sure if it's behind closed doors or whether or not we're going to be able to broadcast that in the wink wink way we know how to but <clears throat> yeah be fascinating to see and we'll, we'll obviously bring you guys an update in due course but yeah Leeds Rangers tomorrow night and uh, yeah the first bit of action we'll get there's potential that we might get Chris Moore on the pitch Diego Montero but I don't know it's supposedly a mixture of both sides and how do you expect Leeds to set up? Well, it's a four-two-three-one, isn't it? As 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 we would expect. I think that's how Daniel Farker is going to be going into next season. The four-two-three-one, the double pivot. Kamara is not going to be playing in this one. We know now that he's signed <clears throat> or he's pended his medical at least uh, ten million euros, eight point six million quid uh, to be going to Ren. A little bit of a uh, an issue. I think we're all very very aware of when it comes to Leeds. Are we going to be replacing? Him directly, I don't know. Joe Rothwell's in the 29-year-old, comes in from Bournemouth, obviously on loan for 16 matches at Southampton last season. <sighs> what are Leeds going to do? You know, two offensive players in my book who, who've left. And it's going to be interesting to see the dynamic now because is it going to be Rothwell and Charlie Crew? Is that going to be almost the, the midfield replacements for Kamara and Archie? I guess it's youth for youth. And then you've got like for like, in a sense, when it comes to Rothwell and Kamara. A lot of people would prefer Kamara in that position, but Rothwell, I, I like Rothwell a lot. But you, you, Leeds have got to do another midfield. They have to, you know, depth. And if they're looking at getting promoted this season, we've got to go in strong and, and, and you know, putting Charlie Crew and, and bringing him up the youth. Look, it's great. Of course it is. And he could be a staple. He could be an unbelievable player going forward. But you've also got to give him a bit of a chance. And I think Leeds fans would probably think, some would, would think anyway, that he's going to just replace Archie Gray and it's going to be like for like and we're not going to miss anything out on that. Well, he's got to acclimatise. He's got to get used to so many variables when it comes to the championship and he's got to do as well as Archie has done, you know. So <clears throat> is the squad going to be as strong next season? We don't know. We're still waiting on the trail. Will the trail remain in terms of the Avengers that we've got? Somerville, Rutter and Nonto at this level, you'd hope so, but... Listen, Archie potentially will have been playing in a better side last season than Charlie will be playing in this season. And that's that's a conversation to be had. I mean, I mean, are we going to even see Charlie Crew for a lot of this season? We don't know. You would expect so with a four-year deal. But he's the one I'm excited to see, to be honest with you. It's a bit of a weird one because we've not really brought any signatures in yet. I know Dan James had mentioned to LUTV that he thinks the Joe Ronald sign is absolutely massive for the group, which is great to hear. But another influential body and experienced body in Glenn Kamara going out, I think that'll be a significant blow for the side, especially with the understanding that leads up, leads, leads. Uh, there's no sort of 100% guarantee that they're going to be replacing yet. So, are we going to see Rothwell in this game? If so, that's great. You know, I'd like him to start. I'd like, you know, are we going to get a bit of a double pivot of Rothwell and. And Gruev, you would expect so, but I don't know if with Rothwell coming in, there's maybe other bits that he needs to sort out before actually getting into this this friendly tomorrow. I know it sounds ridiculous, but footballers, they're moving here, there and everywhere, aren't they? And um, is Rothwell settled? And has he got a house? And is he in the area? You presume so, obviously, been, been, uh, been, been signed around about five, six days ago now, but it might be too quick in terms of turnaround for him. 
you might see a little bit more rotation when it comes to youngsters. As I say, so Charlie Crew, we're going to see more of Marley Wilson, Luca Thomas, etc. I always like to see, you know, the pedigree of the of the lads that we're bringing through in the ranks, and it's always a really good indication. I remember, you know, when the, at the back end of, of of last season and going into the new season, when you've seen some of the some of the youngsters in the preseason friendlies, you're looking at them and thinking, wow, they're they're talented there, and you're wondering if they can fit into a, a championship bracket. And, and we saw a few coming through, didn't we, And, and in terms of Joseph and Archery and stuff like that. So, yeah, Joseph's another one. Joseph's a massive one. I'd love to see him play in this one, to see him start in the number nine, and to see Leeds really hit the ground running when it comes to him. Can he bag against Rangers? You know, aside of you're expecting them to field a bit of a mixed group as well, similar to Leeds United. But if you can get him off the into the running and you know scoring straight away and looking bullish and looking brash and looking exciting <sighs> straight off the bat it's not bad is it going into going into next season and he's the one who I'm looking at really obviously looking at Charlie looking at Rothwell but looking at Joseph as well how's he developed you know and you do wonder Somerville, Nonto and Rutter the Avengers is are they going to start are they going to play or is it going to be a little bit more focused on Harrogate Town what we do know is the playing Rangers they're playing uh, Harrogate Town and then they're going away for a training camp 10 days and then they're coming back, I believe it's August 3rd, and playing Valencia. And that is going to be the game, obviously, before they then head into the season at Ellen Road. So two two consecutive games, one, <clears throat> excuse me, one against Valencia uh, and then one against Portsmouth, of course. But, yep, I, I'm expecting a 4-2-3-1. I would be expecting maybe one of the three, two of the three in terms of Somerville, Nonto and, and, and Rutter to start. You've got to be careful, if, especially if they're going away in a training camp 10 days. You've got to be careful with what they're doing, the load they're putting on themselves, but you want them to be match fit, match ready for the for the the you know the season running. And you kind of want, before Valencia, you want everybody to be really ready and firing. And listen, that's the Valencia game's August 3rd, you know, and then the start of the season is, is not long after that. So you'd expect in the next week, obviously, with it being Monday now, for Leeds to really start moving in terms of transfers. We've been speaking about Jade and Bogle, but they're losing a significant member of the dressing room now, uh, 100% when it comes to your man, Glenn Kamara, uh, a 28 year, 28 um, years of age man uh, with experience. Uh, and ironically, it is a bit of a Glenn Kamara derby, isn't it? Rangers versus Leeds, but apparently he's agreed terms as well. We've got to bear that in mind, everybody. It's not just the 49ers, that narrative's going to be pushed now, but the 49ers pushing them out, etc., etc. He's agreed terms with Ren, and Ren have agreed terms with him, so Glenn Kamara is more than happy to leave, okay? He's not been pushed. It looks like they've just agreed a fee. Glenn Kamara has still got to agree with Ren. People forget that. They just think Leeds have agreed a fee, and that's it. Glenn Kamara can then reject Ren. He can say, no, I don't fancy that. He's agreed terms, Okay. So remember that he wants to leave Leeds United as well to go play in Liga. And, you know, respectively, I think Renovad in the last four positions, I think it's been eight, eighth, fourth, fourth and tenth. So the, the, they're achievers in the top division and in the, you know, it's a top five league in or a top six league in, in, in the European standings, isn't it, Liga? And so, you know, playing against some of the top players in the world and Mbappe has, has obviously left, but, you know, you've still got top players at PSG Um who, you know, uh, on on that next level, really, when it comes to football. So you can see the attraction when it comes to Kamara and Liga. And so, yeah, everyone, it looks like Rangers tomorrow, then Harrogate um, on Friday, and then we go away with the training camp. But who would you like to see? Who's your key man? I think, obviously, the four two three one situation, formation system, is something that Leeds are going to go with going forward. Um, we saw that all last season, but we did see them deviate a little bit against Norwich City, away from home. Do I think they're going to do that again? Is it going to be a little bit more influence dependent on if we're able to keep hold of our key men? Of course it is. Um, but you do feel that, you know, in his in his entire career, really, Farker is wedded to that system. Um, you know, you want him to be a little bit more pragmatic when it comes to it. But I feel in this Rangers game, we're probably going to see a mixture. <clears throat> I remember, was it last season, went up to Hearts and beat them? Was it 2-0 or 2-1? And um, Leeds were pretty much in control. But it did give you a little bit of an indication on how Leeds are going to progress going into that season. It was a 4-2-3-1 again. But that was a very different Leeds to what went into the season with. And that's what you got to bear in mind with the preseason stuff. But I'm expecting, yep, Charlie Crew, maybe Rothwell if we're lucky. And hopefully two out of the three when it comes to Nonto, Somerville and uh, and Rutter. So let me know what you think, guys, in the comment section below. Give us a score prediction. It's going to be heavily rotated, but I'd like to know. First preview of the campaign here, really. What are your thoughts on the Glen Kamara exit? Jaden Bogle as well. Would you go 
all in for Jaden, or would you be looking at someone else? Guys, it's been an absolute pleasure as always. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Head on over to the Patreon as well. See you in a bit. Cheers.